So, John, I have another question for you. What types of crystals are best to manually adjust the assemblage point? I see that they have a certain form. Of what is that form and why? Uh, the, the American, Native American Indians, or some of them at least, uh, have, a have a tradition of um, shifting the, the assemblage point as a ritual, rit ritual practice before, for example, using a sweat lodge, which is a kind of sauna. Um, and they, the, the, they always use a, a crystal which has a six-sided quartz crystal. It can be rose quartz, it, it can be clear quartz, and it can be also slightly smoky quartz. Mm -hmm. But the key factor is that it should have at least three perfect triangles on the points, perfectly triangles. This is and it should have a polished domed end. Oh. Uh, the the domed end somehow, and I don't know the reason why, somehow the domed end is can grasp the assemblage point and it can you can then move the assemblage point around with the crystal. The crystal should have energy. You should be able to feel a breeze coming off the end when you point it at the palm of your hand. Mm. I hear, I can feel a slight breeze uh, um, from coming from this crystal. And the same with this one. So we have a rose quartz uh, and clear quartz. They're, they're, clear quartz is the best. It can have inclusions like that. Um, that doesn't detract from its ability to correct assemblage points. Um, the, aside from the lamps, the only way I know for, for correcting an assemblage point and improving the situation is by using a quartz crystal. I don't know of any other method that, that works. Okay. Um, I know that some people claim such, but I, I will uh, argue that point. Based on your research and, and based everything. Based on, on yeah. well, 25 years, <laughs> but 25 years of, uh, of um, experience of, uh, of working with uh, the human assemblage point. Thank you so much.